Hi folks and congratulations on the purchase of your Oz RV SL Superlight. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the main tent from start to finish. There's some important tips along the way, so pay attention and let's get into it. The first thing we do when we're going to set up a camper trailer is find a good level flat area to set it up. Find your spot and then you need to unhitch the trailer. First, we put the jockey wheel down and take the weight off the hitch so it's easy to uncouple from the car. Also, if there's the slightest lean slope in the ground, always use wheel chocks so that trailer can't roll once you unhitch it. The process is first disconnect your electricals from the vehicle, then disconnect the hitch. The last thing we do is disconnect the chains just in case when you do release the hitch, the trailer tries to move. Once all that's done, you're disconnected, you can move your car out of the way, get the trailer level from front to back using the jockey wheel. So wind it up or down until the trailer sits nice and level. Our next step in setting up is putting down the stabiliser legs. First, you want to grab this brace out of your camper. Then, to lower each stabiliser leg, just take a little bit of weight off the end, pull the blue handle out, and lower the leg down into place. Once it's down, just give it a wiggle. Make sure that blue handle locks back in. Then, we can attach our brace and wind our legs down. Wind them down until they're firm. Don't overwind them and try and lift the whole weight of the camper because inside that stabiliser leg are some small bevel gears and roll pins that secure them that actually act as a shear pin and will break if you overload the stabiliser leg. If you need to get your camper level from left to right, right to left, use some stepped ramps or some blocks and run the low side wheel up onto them. In preparation for opening up the camper, I've run my winch strap out from the front and connected it to the eyelet at the back of the lid here. Generally, most people won't have to use the winch to open and close this particular camper. The gas struts are quite strong and the lid isn't that heavy. So an average person of average fitness will be able to do it, no problems at all. Two people, absolutely easy as, but not everyone that buys this type of camper has enough upper body strength or is tall enough to do it. So for this purpose, I'm showing you how to do it with the winch. It's nice and easy now that I've connected that up, I can go around the camper and undo all the latches. You'll notice that the lid itself is sitting up at quite an angle, which makes it easy to winch because we're not pulling at too an acute angle across the flat of the roof, which is risky. You can damage hardware and you can tend to overload everything involved in the winching process. If the camper doesn't naturally lift to a height similar to this, you can grab a spreader pole, prop it up underneath the back, and that'll allow you to winch it safely without having the angles being too acute. Now, when I winch this, I am never going to allow myself to stand in line with the strap. If there's a hardware failure, a webbing failure, something goes wrong with the amount of stored energy in a nylon strap like this, Whatever's connected to the end is going to come back at 100 mile an hour plus, and you don't want to be in the way. Extremely rare, most unlikely it will happen, but not worth risking it. So what I'm going to do is bring myself around to this side, well out of the line of the winch strap, and winch my lid over.
before I hop inside and start setting up the inside tent, I need to get the rear bow pole up and out of the way. What I normally do is pull all my canvas skirts out, untuck them, get them folded over the side of the camper. That way it doesn't impede anything I do inside while I set up the main pole. To open the door, you'll need to get the keys out and find the largest key that comes with the camper. It's got a recessed triangle in the end of it and place that in the lock and turn the locks counterclockwise. That'll release your door and then simply put the step down. There's an adjustment bar at the bottom of the step, but in this case, we don't need it. Now, we can pop inside and put up the main tent, but first I'll show you which poles you'll need to do that. Before we jump in and set up the tent, the first thing you do when you set them up for the first time is release the straps on the tropical roof. Back them off both ends. You don't want the tropical roof to come tight before the inner roof does. You'll need two of these E1 poles. Your kit will come with two of them. There's a rubber cap at one end and a C-clip at the other. These go at the end of the bed and support the front bow pole that runs up at an angle. You'll also need four spreader poles and these are a D3. These run between the front bow pole, the center bow pole and the rear bow pole. There's two in each section, so either side of the camper at the front and either side of the camper at the back. Now we can jump in the camper with our poles and start setting up the main bow pole, which is the center one near the door. That one goes up first, then the front, then we'll put our little support poles up the front and our spreader poles in, then do the back section. It's important to get the front section right, because that front bow pole that runs up at an angle will control the aspect of the entire tent. Now we've got the camper almost set. I've not quite adjusted everything up because what I'm gonna do is zip up my doors, all my windows, make sure everything's closed, then do my final adjustments on the vertical poles, so the bow poles and the spreader poles, until my tent looks absolutely spot on. Remember the golden rule, don't over tighten your canvas. It's not made to go as tight as a drum. It is a fabric, and if you overdo it on the poles and stretch your canvas, you could tear the seams or the canvas itself. Now, I'll zip it up, tweak the tent, and it should look spot on. The benefits of zipping up your entire tent when you do your final adjustments on the poles is this. I can literally grab the zipper and run the zipper down no problem whatsoever. Easy one-handed operation of the zipper. No stress on the zipper, no stress on any of the screens. It's done spot on. And that, folks, is how you set up the main tent on your Oz RV SL Super Light. It's easy. Remember the golden rules. Don't overstress the canvas and zip it up entirely when you're doing your final adjustments. Before you even set it up for the first time, back off the straps on the tropical roof, take it out of the Velcro each end, loosen it off, that way your main tent will come tight and true, and then adjust your tropical roof up so it lifts off the canvas below it, but don't over tighten it. Be sure to check out our other instructional videos on our YouTube channel and get across to our website and download a copy of the owner manual. These videos and our owner manuals are our commitment to you after sale to ensure you get the very best out of your Oz RV product.